trigonometry. Maybe we'll just start with simple today and go hard later. First of all, this stuff we're talking about today deals specifically and only with Mr. Right Triangles. Okay? And what you have to remember is this. Okay? Right here, write this down. Your life will be changed. So, ka tola. So, ka tola. I'll let that sink in a little bit here. I mean, those two T's next to the sun. No. Because then it'd be soft. <laughs> well, then what's, what's that? Mr. Catholic? Um, really? Why, why Coming from the guy with the world's greatest handwriting to criticize my handwriting seems to be a bit unjust. Why do you think everything is capitalized and you're just too capitalized? Math is weird. Okay. This, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, goes back to, this goes back to when we talked about opposite adjacents and the hypotenuses. Okay? What this is to help you to remember is, this so stands for, and I don't know if it's a Greek or Latin or whatever it was, sine. Sine equals the opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is the uh, relationship of the adjacent over hypotenuse. And TOA is the relationship for tangent, which is the opposite over adjacent. Which means absolutely nothing to you. But if you get that part down, you'll be okay for right now. What? I'm sure it was. Yeah, they were. They'll ask you the sign of whatever. What does like cos mean in tan? Sign. A sign. No, like C O S and T A. Cosine. Tangent. That's what they are. That's the relationships there. Sounds true. Sounds like fun. So here's the deal. Okay. You are looking for um, this ratio. Let's say you're given this triangle. Uh, it is a, well, 6, 8, 10. Here's my triangle. It's a 6, 8, 10 triangle, and they have to be labeled A, B, C. It doesn't have to be A, B, C, but A, B, C. Okay. Here is what this whole thing kind of boils down to for right now. If you are looking for the sine sin of angle A, okay, you are looking for the sine of angle A. It's going to be a decimal, it's going to be a fraction. Usually it's a decimal there. Well, you know that sine, when you're given that sine thing, you have to use this relationship. It is the side opposite, wow, the side opposite of angle A over the hypotenuse. So you are looking specifically at angle A, which is this angle. What side is opposite of angle A? How long is that? Six. Okay, what is the hypotenuse of this triangle, 10. So the sine of angle A equals 3 fifths or 0.6. Now, what does that matter to you? Well, if you know what the sine of angle A is, 
if you know what the sine of angle A is, and you don't have calculators, you can do this with calculators over all the school pages for a little bit. We have what I like to call a trigonomic table. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. This is how I'm going to do math, but we have we have paper, one of those high tangled, high polluting electronic provisional gadgets. What's the paper? Huh? It's, it's, it's probably what you use in the bathroom. I don't know. Because you know that the sin size. Well, did you create this? I did not. You can find these all over the internet because they are pretty common here. Take a look at this little sheet here. If you look there, see where the title that says sign? See where the heading of sign? If you take your finger and go down the sign column and find where it is 0.6, Look for sign. What? See where sign is 0. 0.6, which is where? Right about 37, 37 is degrees. Well, that means in order for this to be true, angle A has to be 37 degrees. Would it be a little bit less than that? Yeah, we're going to approximation here. Uh, we can only get so close without our handy dandy calculators. Okay. If I wanted to know how big angle B was, which you can figure out now because you know this is 90, that's 37, this one would have to be, what, 53 degrees, but let's see if it works out. Let's say I want to find out my angle for angle B. Well, angle B, if I just look and say, well, pick one of these things. Let's pick, give me one of these three trigonomic functions here. Which one do you want? You want to go tangent, you want to go cosine, you want to go sine? Cosine. 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 So, the cosine of angle B equals the adjacent side over hypotenuse. Okay. Here's my angle B. Which, what number is the adjacent? What is adjacent to be? This is the hypotenuse always. The adjacent is 6, right? Hypotenuse is 10 again. So, the cosine of angle B is what decimal? Again, it's 0. 0.6. I am going to hopefully take a shot in the dark here. If you look in your column under cosine and find 0. 0.6, I am hoping against hope that it's going to be 53 degrees. <coughs> or 52, one of the two based on whatever it is. Does that work? So you can find, even though you don't have a protractor, you know this has to be, is it 52 or 53? It's 53 degrees, and this side there was 37 degrees. Because you have the ratios of those things, and they don't change. No. I, did I add? You know, maybe it cut it off and I typed it in there. Why doesn't it have 45 degrees there? Because it was like, markings. Now let me see if we got something here. Yes, we do have something here. Just for fun, see if you can dig this. This takes a little time to sink in. Let me get you this little worksheet here. Oh, I have a little scared. Let me get you this little worksheet. Here's calculus. This is not even close to calculus. Oh, looks like calculus. This is trigonometry. You technically could take this next year. So, let us look at this whole spiely bopper here. Here is what you'll look at. First of all, you know your soca toe. That's important to know. If you don't know your, if you don't know the relationships, you don't know the ratios, and you're not going to get this right. Number one says to find the cosine of this, um, which doesn't 
it's actually just asking you for the, the decimal. It doesn't mean the angle, but you could find the angle because here's angle F. I want the cosine. First thing I'd write down is what is cosine? Coa. So ka, I'm sorry, ka is A H, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always the easy one because it's the longest side. Hypotenuse has to be 53. What side is adjacent on angle F? 28. So this is your 28 over 53. This is where you actually could use your calculators to get the decimal equivalent of that, but that's not. The cosine of angle F is 28 over 53. I'll do it for you just because I want to know where that or tools, calculator. What is 28 divided by 53? The decimal equivalent is 0.528. If you look on your sheet under cosine of 0.528, you'll be able to tell how big angle F is. Cosine of 528 looks like it is. And you get close. Yeah, it's going to be 58 degrees, right? Yep. But all they're looking for is this, people. I, you don't have to find the degrees just yet. We're just looking for those relationships there. So do you write down you, no, you just write down the you just write down the fraction reduced. So right now I want you to find the sine of angle C. Here's sine, which is so S O H. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. What is that fraction? What is that ratio? Opposite over hypotenuse is? Opposite of C is 12. Hypotenuse of C is 20. Hypotenuse doesn't change. And then you just reduce that fraction, which is 3 over 5. This. Which we've done already. You should know what the sine of 0.6 is because we just did it. What was it? 37 degrees, wasn't it? Yeah. So go ahead. I a little, you go ahead and do the rest. You don't have to do degrees. Just do the fractions for the rest. That is your homework. So ka toa. That is your homework and your one and only homework. Oh, no, don't thank you. Forget not that you have to finish that paper. And did we, how far did we ever get on our bulletin board things? Are we close, Huh? The what? All right, let's do this. Skip the math homework. 15 minutes, work on your bulletin report. Oh, right. oh. Madison is in whose group? Over there by Alex. I really desperately need those to be done so we can get going. Those need to be done.
We got to write it. Yeah. We got to write it. 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 We got to write
Yeah, no, 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 no